Alright guys, welcome to the vlog. Um, so it's not really a vlog, it's gonna be kind of a rant. And what this rant is gonna be about is a few weeks ago, a few weeks ago, a few days ago, I tried to go to uh, Lakeland Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram buyback event, which said it right there on their Facebook page. Okay? So on the post, I will read you guys the post. It says, Use Car Overstock Event in all caps. Five days only, Wednesday, July 17th through Sunday, July 21st. We went on Saturday, which was a week ago, so on the 20th, we went up to Lakeland. Uh, we are overstocked with pre-owned and off-leased cars. All caps. Um, off these cars get up to four thousand dollars over Kelly Blue Book value. So, um, my car right now, my 2015 Nissan Sentra that's outside, is worth seven thousand. So, if they gave me, we're gonna we're gonna write these things down. So it's four thousand over Kelly Blue Book. So my car is worth seven. So I'm pretty sure four into seven is eleven thousand dollars, right? You wrote it all down, so we know. So we remember. So over four thousand uh, over Kelly Blue Book for your trade. We can pay off your car no matter what you owe, and terminate. And this is all in caps, guys. And terminate your existing loan or lease. That's why I own my car right now. $14,348 is what's worth on my, left on my car. Well, that's probably a lie because I just paid a car payment yesterday. So that's probably a lie. So it's probably like $14,000 now because my car payment is like $377. So it's a little bit lower now. Um, get payments as, all caps, low as $88 a month. No money down in all caps, 0% financing up to $13,895 off new vehicles, special credit programs available for, again, all caps, all types of credit, we finance everyone in all caps, plus dozens of cars and trucks for under $7,000, get the best deal of the year before these cars go to auction. Okay guys, we did this. I told them I wanted to do this. What they did is this. They said, okay, well, your credit's not the greatest, which is, I understand I never had credit cards and the car is the first big thing I've had that will build my credit. So I was just like, okay, I understand, you know, my credit's slow. And I was just like, but you guys said you would work with any credit said on your Facebook post. They're like, well, we're gonna have to put you in a brand new car because you're gonna have negative equity. Why am I gonna have negative equity? You said you'll pay off my car, which means I don't have a loan anymore. That loan's gone. You took that loan away from me, so I don't own that vehicle anymore because you're paying it off, which said on your Facebook post. No, well, we're gonna have to put you in a brand new 2019. Keep in mind, I went there looking for this 2000, I believe it was like a 2016 uh, Dodge Grand Caravan, which was only $15,000, okay? We're gonna make all these little mental notes, I'm telling you. Okay, 
So I was just like, whatever. Just do what you need to do to get me into a bigger vehicle for my family. You know, for Nova, which Nova's here, guys. She's chilling. You know, for Nova, for, and the new baby that's about to be here. So I'm like, well, we're gonna have to put you in a 2019 uh, Dodge Journey. The Dodge Journey was $44,900 compared to the $15,000 vehicle car I wanted. So, if they did what they said they would do, if they did what they said they would do, pay off my car, give me the $11,000, for, we're going to do it all on the calculator, the $11,000 for my car, did that as a down payment for the $15,000 vehicle, so let's do the $15,000 vehicle first. So we're going to do the $11,000 down payment, which would bring the car down to about $4,000 because it only brings your car down a certain amount when you do a down payment. So it should be about 10, it would probably would have been about 10000 for the car. Which would have brought my car payments down extremely low. My, if I did, I did all the math, my car payments would have been about $150 a month. They weren't going to pay off my car. They weren't going to give me $4,000 over Kelly Blue Book. So they would only give me the $7,000 for the uh, Nissan. Plus the $44,000 vehicle they wanted to put me in, which I didn't want. So they didn't lie, they lied, the whole Facebook post was a lie. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna show you guys the Facebook post, just so you guys know. You can pause the video and read it if you want. So this Facebook post and this car dealership was a huge scam. They didn't want to help you out. I even tried to get a co-signer that had a good credit score. Again, any credit, any credit, any, denied him. We want at least a 750, 700 credit score. I don't know anyone that has a credit score of 750. Do you guys? Because I don't. So I was just like, you know what? I'm done. I'm not going to go there anymore. Once I get things figured out, you know, this Nissan's good for now. And the only reason why I was doing this it's because I thought they would pay off my car and get me into something good for Nova and the, and the new baby. You know, like I thought we would have something worked out well enough for us to get into a new vehicle. But Lakeland, Chrysler, Dodge, and Jeep, they are lies. I don't recommend them. I don't recommend falling for any of these people's lives. If you want to go somewhere, I can recommend you guys somewhere and I will show you where that is. If you guys want to buy a vehicle, I recommend CarMax. That's where I bought my Nissan and this is where I would do all my business from now on. If you guys want a good car dealership, go check out CarMax. They are great people, they work with you, and they don't hassle you to come buy a vehicle from them and they're not gonna lie about the price and lie about what's gonna happen. They'll be straightforward with you guys and tell you what you need to do. So if you guys want a car, I definitely recommend CarMax. But that's, that's it for my little rant there. So yeah, so right now I'm playing some NHL on Xbox. My friend should be home soon so we can play the new Grand Theft Auto update, which is great. Um, I am enjoying it. But NHL 19 is a great game, guys. It's definitely really good looking and everything. But that was just a little rant, you know. I know we don't like to rant about things like that, but that really irritated me on how they're going to put a Facebook post out there. And done, such and done, people are going to see it. And it all comes out to be a lie. 
you know? So, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else I'm really going to be doing now. So, that's, that was just a little rant, and I wanted to just put it out there so you guys know what's up. So, my I'm just being a little wimp about it or whatnot. But, that's it. I don't think I'm going to vlog anymore after this because the other thing else I'm going to be doing, Brianna's at work, and we're just going to chill until she gets off at 9 o'clock. So, that's all I'm going to be doing for a little bit. So, yeah. Um, actually, while we're sitting here, let's talk about something. Let's talk about something. I have the new iOS beta 3. Ah. iOS 13 beta 3 on my phone currently and it's amazing. Dark mode is awesome. Uh, this is what dark mode looks like. The swipe to text is nice. Um, just everything on it looks really really good. I just hope it doesn't Like, even on Apple Music, it looks amazing. Um, the App Store looks really, really nice. Uh, it just looks really good. Um, it's the iOS... Uh, 13, uh, beta 3. That's what we're in right now. Uh, like the settings even looks really like refreshed and nice. So if you guys don't have the beta and you want to try it out, I recommend it. It looks great. Like the only thing is like you've seen like on uh, the internet, like you don't really have to have a dark mode back here, but everything up top and down below is in dark. Um, but yeah, it looks super, super good. I'm trying to think of what else changed. Oh yeah, so when you, uh, go record now, when you go to record, like a, uh, screen share, there's a little thing so you can record with the microphone now as well. I'm not an iPhone reviewer, guys. Like, I'm not uh, all up in that stuff. But it looks great. I love it. So if you guys don't have it yet, I recommend it. Go check it out. But that's it for this video, guys. You guys are awesome. And we will see you in the next vlog.